staff of National Youth Council since inception. And we can attest to that. Well, it was in Bansa, it was in Basse that we, we, we made recommendation. One key among them was we want a youth representative in the parliament. I don't need to tell anybody whether that is successful or not. You can tell them <laughs> when, 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 when I hand over the baton to you. So for us, Nekov had been a success from that time. Because in 1999, we requested a national youth council and put up a youth age at 30. And in 2000, we had a national youth council that put up a youth age at 30. In 2001, we request for youth representation in the parliament. And by the grace of Allah, we now have young people in the parliament who are not elected like the two of you sitting. So for us, it is, it's a success in NECO. And in 2002, uh, 2001, 2004, we were in ba Banjul. We had a good NECO. It was under the leadership of uh, Mustafa Kebe and Honorable Samba Fall. And uh, we had our resolutions put forward. Uh, we argued that we want to have young people in all the local government um, area councils. Um, today, in every area council you go, we have young people. Well, there are those who are called young people who are not necessarily young, but since they are sitting there for young people, we still appreciate that. In 2006, the NECOF moved to Brikama, and we focus here on young people and reproductive health. And this had brought about a boost from the UN family in the UNFPA project that was being run by the National Youth Council. We moved from, uh, we've also argued in Brikama that the Gambia should not sign the, the then EPAs, the Economic Partnership Agreements, that the young people stood and put up a recommendation to that. And we appreciate the fact that the Gambia did not sign the, 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 the EPAs. It's not totally our success, but it's part of our success story that we can. I'm sorry, I was told the evolution of NECOF. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get you where we move on and where we are heading to. In 2008, the NECOF moved to Farafeng. Um, that was in NBR. And uh, we are working on those solutions now. I, I will not tell you what are there now, because we are going to uh, release those at this NECOF. The NECOF moved then from Farafenye to Carnifi Municipality <coughs> in 2010 and was held at the Independent Stadium. Again, resolutions are made. The conference committee have clearly told me that until we went to the NECOF, they don't want us to release what have been achieved from those resolutions, and I'm not going to betray the trust. This year, we are moving to Bansan, CRR, and we hope and pray that when we left the neck of this time, it's going to be the difference. Because this time we are going to present not only the resolution, but we are going to present a costed program of action that we will be calling on you at the National Assembly to do what our president had ever been doing. That when our recommendation come, he endorsed them. <laughs> but before the president will endorse, it will pass by National Assembly, so that whatever amount we put, if you don't add, don't subtract. <laughs> we, 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 we put up from that level. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think I'll just have to say that it is under the leadership of the President of the Republic of the Gambia, His Excellency Professor Alhaji Yahya Ejeje Jame, that <laughs> the changes of NACOF <coughs> have happened from Youth Week to NACOF. We participate in Youth Weeks, even those who go still around this, what they call Semen de la Zones. We've realized the conference bit was missing. So I desire to give only the success of the conference bit and not the other parts of, of, the, of the festivity, because this is where everybody is looking at. How effective has the changes in NECOF uh, uh, been since the change of the name from NECOF to where we are? This year, we are happy, I'm going to say that again, that the president has donated us um, a sum of um, two million and 500,000, that's 2.5 million. <laughs> the government of the Gambia have also put in one million, that's different from the president's contribution. The United Nations Development Program is also putting in support to the conference bit. And the GRTS, <laughs> even though we have not concluded yet, is also supporting us on the, on the, 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 the 
panels. Now that we got the date, uh, we are coming to continue on our panels. They've been very supportive, GRTS, since we moved into where we are. It's, it's important I also said that if there is any one person I should single-handedly brought out who support the NECO, um, I will. And this I'll bring out um, the support that we have been receiving from the governor of CRR. Single-handedly. Um, Ganji had been such that uh, I have worked with all the governors and all the NECOPs. And if I would say, I would say he has no equal from all those I have worked with. He's been at the same level, and there is nobody who has been on him yet. And I'm convinced that will continue. The National Youth Council is grateful to this, to this nation and the people of this nation. Grateful in the sense that irrespective of our age, irrespective of what we do, people listen to us. And we are trying to emphasize that more that young people need to come and register with the National Youth Council so that we will be able to bring about the expected result that the president had expected from us. I have always said we have not reached where we are heading to. We need just some more push and we'll be there. We are on the right track. But we need the people to come and work with us in that uh, direction. Um, for me, the Minister of Youth and Sport, Honorable Aliu Jame, and uh, the president of the Republic of the Gambia, I'm going to emphasize again, I want to thank them for giving us the opportunity to be who we are. <laughs> for if we, if we are not selected, I, I just get surprised nowadays, if, wherever I sit and everybody said, you have Nala or whatever. Maybe it's that GRTS television. And the position I had been given by uh, the leadership of this country, and I want to appreciate that and thank them very well. Maybe I'll hand over now to my colleagues to talk about the various details of the council and the issues. Maybe I'll come back later. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Once more, with our hands in the head of work. That's Bakari Khaled, the chairman of the National Youth Council. And um, now we'd like to also acknowledge um, the presence of um, Mr. Per Minte. Um, per, it's good to be um, back again uh, once more and I'm um, so you have been following um, our, our discussions Assalamu alaikum bolo mini ñoo sétan waxtu bi euh mak ndaw goor ak jigen fi ci rewi gambia ak ñi nga xamne sax ñu ngi ci biti euh ciun jiatiyas di sétan waxtu bi comme niñ ko fi baxo di défé rek national bantaba bi tay ñu ngi fi wat di waxtan bétay ci mbiri ndaw ñi 